how does a CO2 rifle work? Well, CO2 rifles um, are a good compromise uh, or a good halfway between Springers uh, and PCP rifles. So um, a, a CO2 rifle will have a chamber um, in, in which um, you will insert a CO2 canister, either, an 80, uh, either a 12 gram canister, which is a small one like you're used to seeing on soda streams, um, or an 88 gram canister, which is just a bit bigger. Uh, and some rifles will take two 12, uh, two 12 um, gram CO2s as well. Um, and those uh, capsules are simply uh, screwed into uh, the uh, uh, storage uh, cylinder on a, on a, a CO2 rifle. Um, typically you, you'll unscrew a cap, put the, the canister in, screw the cap back on again and when you screw the cap back on it pierces the CO2 canister which releases the gas that's stored in that chamber under pressure uh, and then that is used um, obviously to propel pellets over a period of time. Now the amount of shots that you'll get will depend on, uh, on the gun uh, and the calibre and the power of the rifle. Um, but the, the, the amount that you get will vary according to air temperature. So on colder days you'll get fewer shots, on hotter days you'll get more shots. And also the, the velocity of the pellet coming out of the end of the barrel will depend on the, uh, the air temperature as well. Uh, but the benefits of a CO2 rifle are you don't have to um, go to the expense or trouble of having a, a dive bottle or getting a dive bottle filled up. All you need is a supply of CO2 canisters that are really, really cheap. Um, in common with PCP rifles, CO2 rifles are also very quiet, especially if you have a silencer, and they have no recoil either. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found the video useful, uh, please give us a like, maybe even subscribe. Uh, that way you'll get automatic notification of any new video content we put out. And if you have any questions you'd like us to have a go answering, drop us a line at alphamilitaria.com slash AMA and we'll do our best. Thanks again.